guys what's happening. So, I was scouring an offer up the other day, and I was actually kind of, kind of, you know, looking for a uh, fluke multimeter, and I found these fluke 77 version fours, uh, which are the latest version, um, for 65 bucks each. Uh, so I bought them both, 65 bucks plus uh, shipping and tax, whatever. So it was 78.03 for these two. Um, so one was out. One I was, I was going to put one in my work bag and the other one in my uh, on my uh, test bench. Uh, even though I do actually have several multimeters, but I always wanted one of these like larger fluke ones. I mean, I do actually have the smaller fluke ones, but um, yeah, one of the issues is I, I can't stand like these multimeter stands with the little the little thing that pops out the back. They're just not stable. They always fall over. Like any time you grab the leads, you know, the the multimeter will fall over. So I wanted to, to design a, a stand here. Um, I've actually already designed several multimeter stands for my other multimeters, but um, I came up with this last night. And um, I'm hoping this will fit. So the only difference is, I mean, with this multimeter and um the other ones see it's tapered like this is shorter down here than it is up here so this is tapered but i wanted something light i could just throw it in there and it would actually grip all right so i'm gonna go print this out and we're gonna go back and check out and see uh see what's up all right so making some progress on my products mini lathe is pretty much done Alright, so I am done here, this obviously the support, there it is, so now I gotta see if it fits, take the support off, clean this up a little bit, it's my old printer bot, if you're not familiar with it, heavily upgraded, I mean it's all modern electronics and stuff, um, alright so I'm gonna take it off and see if it fits in there, see if this uh, will go down in there, and here's that blast from the past, this is actually one of the first things I think I designed, um, at least in Fusion 360. Um, yeah, that was my first uh, attempt at doing a multimeter stand for my desk here. My work, I just I hate those little the built-in stands. They uh, always they're always falling over. So um, all right, here's the uh, moment of truth. I got my my calipers were measuring correct. Alright. Like I didn't want it to be super tight, you know, but enough to grab on there. So, like I said, it was tapered. The other, uh, when I showed you in the other previous video, or part of the other video, so I kind of had it tapered so it would match the taper of this multimeter. Alright, there it is. Um, and as you can see, the bottom just sits in the bottom there. So it's, uh, not, it's snug, but it's not super snug, you know. Um, I guess I could have brought maybe another the taper and just a, maybe another millimeter or two to make it perfect. We all didn't do another revision. I'm not sure, but and then originally my I was gonna actually have a side mount over here so I could wrap the cords up, but the cords just wrap around perfect around the base. So let me show you that real fast. All right, there it is, all wrapped up. All right, um, I'll be on my Thingiverse page down below. We have a similar multimeter. Uh, they make a lot of fluke variants that look exactly the same. Same casing, but like different numbers. So, uh, this I know will work with a version 3 and 4, but, um, alright, cool.